link card desktop folder link card file now before i press ok <coughs> there is an options here so by default positioning it will come origin to origin center to center and by share coordinates those all things we have also in revit file now by default it's coming origin by origin so we will use that one but this one most of the time in revit file when we link architecture file to revit we can use origin by origin and you will have also another structural file when you link structural file origin to origin then check both of them sometimes you will see this is the architectural phase this one is the architecture but the structure will be shifted somewhere else here which is not which is not correct so you will remove all again you will try center to center by center to center also you will have some shift or sometimes it will come correct otherwise this shared coordinates is we have north and east right north coordinates is uh, 40 something east is 20 something so if you choose by shared coordinates also if the drawing itself is drawing by share coordinates with coordinates so we can choose this share coordinates so for structural share coordinates if it is zero zero for architecture also zero zero it will match all of them will be the same so don't bother most of the time use origin to origin all right here the colors it will preserve same as it is layers this one you can you can make it as it is no problem here especially i need to talk about this this one current view only you see if you mark that one now our current view here in this drawing is mechanical first floor we don't have ceiling so the drawing will come only in the mechanical first floor but if you remove the link and if you press ok so in mechanical first floor it will show once you click here plumbing first floor it will show when you click power first floor, it will show this AutoCAD, it will duplicate in all. So, if you don't want it for all, if you need it only for the current view, click on this current view only, then press OK. Now, look what comes. When I chose origin to origin, it comes here. You know what this is, right? This is for elevation or for north east and west to see so i will check it also this one is origin to origin i'll try to select it i'll try to load it next time center to center if i make it center to center this drawing will come here in the center i'll delete i'll select first and delete so i can delete why because i, I received an information here pinned object were not deleted so if you pinned it same as locked so we can delete in autocad I will unpin first this one. You see this pin symbol? Unpin. So I will select again. Still it's pinned. First select and go here up over there. Then unpin. So again, I will select it. It's unpinned. So delete. It's gone. I will, I will add it again. Second times fast. This is the one. Instead of origin to origin, I'll make it center to center. Then open. Here we go. It comes in the center. Now, this is architecture drawing. So, we have room names. Electrical room, service room, toilet, and so on. So, if your work is only here in electrical room, just we know how to draw the wall. Architecture, you go architecture, wall. So, you can trace here. You have snap already. When you zoomed in, you have snap. By clicking here, just we will draw the architecture. Round, round, round. Once you finish, you can do your electromechanical work. So this way you can link the AutoCAD file. If you don't like it, you can delete. Or there is another way you can go to manage. Uh, manage link. Check manage, manage link. Cut format, you see. In this cut format, this one, the manage link is to, you can import any cut file or Revit file in here. Or you can add also you can remove also so simple way to delete just select the card file first delete the second way we go to manage then manage link this tab is revit right anything revit file or revit model that you download i mean that you import it will show here the one that you link it will show here but for card file 
we are here you see cut format is here so this is our cut file we don't need it so first select it just click on that cut file it will shape then remove click remove it will go then i'll press ok so what's remaining the one the draw the one that i draw the wall itself remaining so that one i will delete it because i don't want it select and delete so this way we can add the cut file or we can link the cut file how about the revit file so i already have sample revit file we will link it the same procedure but we go to insert then link revit click link revit all of us let's do it because we will work based on this link revit then we go to desktop then project from the project folder then architecture click arc <coughs> now it's origin by origin okay then open just click open once you select the architecture file click open yeah it's added already so majorly most of the time when we link revit file we use from any elevation view from northern east view again to reload how do you reload it just go to manage manage link you see now revit coming under revit this one is shown i don't like it just select it and remove press ok ok it's gone second <coughs> those levels as you can see we have level one and level two over here if you try to check it all of them light under lighting discipline now this one electrical is discipline lighting is sub discipline so those are family and type under those family and type we have one lighting two one is indicating for levels so first floor second floor this one also first floor second floor everywhere we have second and floor because this one is indicating for this level also. If I deleted one of these levels, those all two, 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 two will be removed. Now I'll delete this level first. Delete. To show me mechanical will be deleted. Ceiling mechanical all this shows me. Just press OK. Now look. First floor, first floor, second floor, all are removed. Now I will link the Revit file to work. So instead of going same process. There is second method also to add. Ah, I already removed. First, let's let's add it. Insert link Revit architecture. Then open. Okay. I'll tell you the reason why I removed the first level. There is two ways to adjust the levels. Okay. First, without removing, I can align the level with this with this linked file. But I don't want it. If you don't like it, because it's second work. If you don't like it, you can remove that one, and you can remove this one also. Then you will copy those levels. Why? Because here it's written GF0. The other one is 1F and 3500. But there it was level 1, 0, level 2, 4000. So you will add the name in uh, second work. So now this, I will remove this level. If I delete it, I can't remove it. Even I press delete, there is no option because I need at least I need one of the levels should be copied into this view. Okay, let's keep it that way. We will continue from here. I need to remove this file, this link file. Maybe you don't need it. Temporary only. So we go to manage. Again, manage link. Now I will select this architecture. Before what, what I did in AutoCAD and in Revit, I, I click on remove. If you remove, completely it will remove. But now I'll make it unload. If I unload, it will go, but the source, the path will be remain in the same place. I'll unload. Okay. You see, here now, look, I'll press OK. It's gone. Again, I'll come to manage link. If I need to reload back, Look, still the path is here, it's not removed. But if you need to reload again, you don't have to go again to desktop and so on. Just simply click reload. If you if this file 
if this path is in the same location, it will bring it from the same place. So I'll reload, click reload. Then, okay. There we go. Another way. Manage link. Now, I will unload. And okay. Somehow, something will gonna happen to your computer. So, you change it the, the location of this file. So, I will go to manage link. You see, if I reload, it will bring it from the desktop, right? From our source. But if you change the location to my document or to somewhere else, once you reload it, the file doesn't go or doesn't come here. So that you will reload from. This is another option. By reload from, you will go to desktop, to your folder name called project. Double click, then this is the file. Select the file, then open. This one is to reload back. But the same file name. Then press OK. So the file will come here. So this way you can manage the links. For AutoCAD, for Revit, for all, it's the same. Okay, now second things. Here we will see about copy monitoring. Because as you can see, we have here GF and 1F. But here we don't have GF and 1F. We only have one level 1. That one is indicating for this level only. For this, we don't have yet. So we will copy this level. How do we copy levels from linked file? There is something you need to know. Once you link the Revit file, you don't have to copy all, even the architecture. Your computer will become very heavy. Instead of that, the only thing we need is levels and grid lines. Grid lines, it will help us for alignment or adjustation or if the architecture is in the correct position to see. And labels also we need, if it's uh, until 4th floor or 5th floor, we need the labels only. Based on these labels, we will work for our MEP. Now, to, to first, we will copy the labels from this elevation view. You can go to any elevation, north elevation or east, doesn't matter, you can go anywhere. So from here, we will copy the labels only. The reason why we can't copy the green lines from here, because in green lines, this is the architecture. In green lines, we have vertical and horizontal, right? So if I copy this part, it will be only vertical. So you will forget it because you will think that all the green lines are copied. So most of the time, when you copy the green lines, copy it from plan view. So to do that, first, we need to copy the labels. Then we will create floor plans. Once we create the floor plans, from that floor plans, we will copy all the green lines. Okay, let's go. Now, to copy the levels, we go to collaborate, then copy monitor, then select link, because the levels are in the link. So first, we click select link. Now, I'll click here. You see, when, when I hover my mouse to the architecture, you will show, it will show you one blue boundary. So when the boundary comes, just click there. I'll click there. So those will appear here. Copy, monitor, coordination, setting. Some of you by mistake, it's okay. Some of you by mistake, select link. So instead of here in this boundary, you will click somewhere else. But the one that I show you, copy, monitoring, it doesn't show up here. So don't think something happened to your computer because it didn't select the right link. So not to be confused, copy, select link, Instead of zoom in, just little zoom out, select this architecture or zoom out, hover your mouse once the blue boundary came, click on it. So we will receive those. Now, uh, to copy the labels, first go to copy, click that copy, click copy. And you know what multiple means, right? This one? What's the use of this multiple? We have seen it last week, huh? To copy multiple things. If I didn't tick mark this one and select one of the levels, I can only select one level. I will copy one by one. So I need to select it in general. I'll make it multiple. So I'll select by pressing Control this and this. Or by mistake, you might select somewhere else. I'll select it like this. Or so you have filter here. I will click in this filter. 
then make it check none I won't copy only the labels so on mark the labels then ok so it will select only the labels this and this then we have two finish here one the first finish is this one the upper one is a big finish this finish you will click there just to uh, to tell the Revit that you finish selecting in general then once you click that then the final one will be the upper one so first I'll click finish here So the second one now it's disappeared from in front of us right over here if you can see it is copy monitor but by default this one came because this information is for monitoring you see this pulse symbol over here this one this pulse symbol is for monitoring the reason this monitoring is used for if architectural people change the grid lines just symbol uh, yeah, simple example. <coughs> the architectural people will change grid lines or walls. They will move it somewhere else. So this monitoring, if you make it stop monitoring, which means you are rejecting it. You don't need anything. But don't remove it. Keep it always the monitor. It's helpful. So once your computer open again, it will tell you that those people or any architecture department have changed the grid lines or the walls. So we will see that one. I'll show you the way how to check it again. So keep the monitor, just go to upper one, copy monitor, then click finish. Now, I will zoom in here. Now it can be selected, this one. It can be selected, which means those two levels are copied. Now, this level zero, I can delete it. I will select it and delete. See, the option dialog box came. Press OK, done. Now. Here, we don't have any labels for all systems. <clears throat> you, if you want to stretch this one, it's big, right? You can change the scale from here. Scale, you can change it from here, or we can change it from this instance property, or we call it second name properties palette. From here, we can change it. 1 to 50, so it will become smaller. Or we can change it also from here, 1 to 50, anywhere. Now, this now is like a dumb line, only reference line. So we need to add the architecture plan. Once you add the architecture plan, this you see this black and white color, it will become into blue color. Then once you add the architecture plan also, here it will add 0, 1 level, GF and 1F. Okay. <clears throat> to add the architecture level, first we go to view then plan view then floor plan <coughs> let's go view plan view then floor plan okay the box up here so from here type it shows us floor plan we have first floor and ground floor so always by default any floor you added it will appear in mechanical edge bar <coughs> but if you don't need that one we will go to edit type you see, when you go to edit type here, view template is under mechanical plan. That's the reason why it goes to mechanical under HVAC. And we will go here from this is mechanical plan. This is the view template. If you choose mechanical plan, those view template will segregate all your works. If I choose mechanical, I can't work electrical in mechanical. So when I do any electrical work, it will hide it automatically. So you can see it. So I choose mechanical plan. From here, discipline and subdiscipline we will choose. Now, discipline by default is mechanical. The subdiscipline is HVAC. So that's why it's coming in HVAC. I'll keep it as a default. Okay. Okay. Because next, when I add for another floors, we will change it. Then floor plan. Let's set press control in your control key in your keyboard and include ground floor and first floor select them then press ok now 
what comes this is our floor plan and here let's see mechanical edge back here floor plan ground and first floor okay we need to add ceiling plan for this also same things so always when you add <coughs> floor plans or ceiling plan start from 3d view this is the 3d view view then 3d view you have like house mode symbol click there or in this quick access toolbar also you have the 3d view click there again we will go view plan view then reflected ceiling plan you want to add reflect ceiling plan we click here again ground and first floor in which view template to take it which discipline will come here edit type we check it it's none so this none i'll change it into mechanical but if i kept it like none it will go somewhere else up in this area so it will show us question mark question mark then we'll set it again instead of that i'll click this none I'll check it mechanical ceiling, then this, uh, discipline is mechanical, the sub discipline is edge work, okay, apply, okay, then press okay, select both of them, actually uh, first floor is roof, so we don't need, we don't have any ceiling plan, so we can select only ground floor, then okay, here we go, under mechanical ceiling, we have ground floor double click ceiling here comes this is our ceiling second so here i will go to the elevation view look at our levels you see what happened now it becomes blue because this is the correct level so i will make smaller little bit 150 so we have ground floor and first floor here i can select it easily but this one i cannot select this grid lines because it's not copied to copy the grid lines we need to go to floor plan hvac here under hvac ground floor double click there then we will copy it from here the grid lines to do that it's same procedure we go to collaborate copy monitor select link so hover your mouse when the blue boundary came just click there this one will show up click copy and make sure multiple make it mark after that select all of them you can select all of them then filter from here check none first so choose what you need from here is grids click grids then apply okay so the grid lines are selected now click finish first then go to copy monitor app this stuff then again finish so here the architecture i mean the grid lines already copied you can select it easily we will go to elevation view again now as you can see we can select it easily normal 150 okay this is the first thing <clears throat> second yeah you see those fixtures are coming with architecture we need to hide them or i'll go to floor plan view ground floor this one comes with architecture so maybe you don't need this architecture i mean those fixtures you want to hide it so how do you hide those files you will see them one by one for example, I will create one things in this architecture uh, system the electrical equipment see now what I click I go to system I chose electrical equipment so this electrical equipment is panel board i try to add it in this mechanical in mechanical template remember this one our current view is ground floor this ground floor how do you know if it is for plumbing or electrical ground floor it's bolded already this one the bold color one is your current view 
We are in mechanical, so we cannot add any electrical equipment there. I try to place it here, I can. Even though if I added it, it will show me a message that we have a problem with visibility. Elements are visible in floor or in these options. So this is the advantage of view templates, to create view templates. Second, I'll go to, okay, this is mechanical. I'll add something, mechanical sample. I'll go ceiling plan view. Well, for plan view, I'll create ducting. This is sample, just to show you. Now, I, I just need to show you about visibility graphics, how to hide and unhide. So, we have an option, press VV, all of us in the keyboard, use VV, two times press VV, then one dialog box will appear. This is for visibility graphics. The second way to bring this box is, you go to view and visibility graphics, over here, you can click there, then this box will show up. Second way, this, you see all of them here, under filter list, we have architecture, structure, mechanical, electrical, and piping. So, those, by clicking here, this mark, you can show all the electrical and mechanical or architectural <coughs> categories. Now, but here, you cannot make mark, right? You cannot hide, because the use of this model category or the visibility graphics is anything you don't like, you can hide it or unhide from there. Same like what we do in AutoCAD layer off and layer in, similar. So here I can't click, it's disabled or it's half tone because our work or our this floor is controlled by view template. What kind of view template it is? Mechanical. Over here, you check it here, you see it's mechanical plan. You remember when we add the first floor or ground floor, I chose the mechanical plan, right? Because of that, I need, it's controlled by this view template. First, I'll go this mechanical plan, then edit. You see, over here, under mechanical plan, all of them are here for VV. Click this VG override models. This box will appear. First thing. Because this one is under mechanical view template. It's controlled by it, so that you can't, by pressing VV simply here, you cannot edit anything. So if you want to edit simply by pressing VB, first there is another solution. You can remove the view template. You can make it none. First I'll click this mechanical plan. I'll make it none. And I'll press OK. So now I'll press VB. Here it comes. When we work with it, you will understand it quickly. Don't worry. But for now, I just need to show you what I want to show you here regarding of ducting and how to hide those fixtures. So if I want to hide this duct, first we need to go to VV, then the, the word duct, I will remove the mark, then it will hide from current view. Now, I'll press VV, but if you need to know what, what is this blue things, just select it, then it will show here duct system or modified duct, so you already know what it is, or from this properties palette, it shows you it's rectangular duct. But in VV, it's not mentioned rectangular or round type duct. It will show you only the name duct. So if you hide the name duct, it will hide all type of duct from the current view. I'll go to VV. VV is the shortcut, okay? I'm just telling you. That's so from here, we have architecture, structure, hide it. I don't need it. Structure, hide it. Electrical hide, piping, I will hide it. Those are all for mechanical. So from here, see, we have ducts, accessories, remove it. We have duct, now, duct accessories are like uh, MD, FD, dumpers. Those all are duct accessories. Duct fittings, these are the duct fittings. I will remove this mark. Any duct, 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 I will remove it. Ducts also remove, flex duct, remove. Okay, then I'll press apply and then okay. Here, it disappears. Next, I need to hide those. 
those fixtures. They are mechanical fixtures and we have here. So some of them are plumbing fixtures. Now to do that, I will go VV. From here, if I hide it, you will not hide it because this file is linked file. You see, you can't even select it. We can select it. Once you try to select, it will select all the architecture. So to hide for anything linked file, there is another option. We go to VV again. Link Revit. You see here, there is Revit links. We click there. Then architecture file, we have one link. So those things are coming with the architecture file. We go to by host, by host view. Now those hosted files are, the, if you draw something as that, but this is linked file. So we go to here, custom, make it custom. Then we go to model categories. This model categories are the VV is the one that we, when we press it, it will come. Here, under model categories, we will, we will hide it from here. But first you need to make sure it's not hosted view, it's linked view. So make it custom so that by yourself you can hide and unhide. Now, I will hide all, I will hide all mechanical parts from this architecture, for instance. If you need to unhide all of them instead of one by one, just select all here in this, click in this all, then click in this mark, remove it to remove. Again, apply. Okay. So all mechanical fixtures or any mechanical things, accessories, I removed it. Apply. Then okay. Again, VV. Now from here, remove mechanical equipments. And regarding of mechanical, another. Apply. Okay. Nothing is changed. Okay. This one is for plumbing, plumbing fixtures. But the mechanical fixture over here, we had one. It's removed already. We have pumper here, pump room. Again, I'll go to VV, Revit link, custom, model categories. Okay, it's custom. Now, let's make it piping also, make it visible. So from this piping, I'll hide the pipe or plumbing fixtures like closets and other toilet stuff. And okay, plumbing fixtures, apply, then okay, apply, and okay. So those plumbing fixtures are hidden. Now, these things, this guy over here is a panel for electrical panel. If you want to hide it, we use the same procedure. So if you want to select, how do you select? This is linked file, right? Maybe you want to select it. So first, hover your mouse to the panel, then press tab, it will select. If you, some of you, if you can't uh, select it because you remember this part over here, if it's X, the yellow one over here, I'll click it. Okay, if this one is X, you see the yellow one, this is for the symbol of linked file. This one is X, so you can select anything which is inside the link file. So even the link itself, the architecture. Now, look, I can select it. But if I click that one, if I make it enable, then I can select the architecture file. It's better, it's always better to lock it because you can't work. Always when you need to select something else, you will select the architecture, so it will disturb you. So to avoid that things, just lock it. When this red mark X coming, which is you are safe, it's okay. So I will hide this equipment or electrical equipment. I will go to VV again. Revit link. First, you can you can hide it from here also, but it doesn't work sometimes here. Electrical equipment. Press E. First, make sure from make it enable electrical from this filter list. Now. Here, take a look. Electrical equipment is disabled. 
which means it's hidden already so here in this from here also should be removed from here it should be removed because the reason why it's not removed is it's linked file so we need to go to private link then custom then go to model first click custom then model from here press E to lead you electrical equipment remove the mark apply okay apply okay now it's gone so don't be confused always if you need to hide and unhide we need to go to VV or visibility graphics if it is if it is not from by VV if you cannot hide it from here which means the files that you need to hide is linked file so we need to go here and we need to check it all so whatever you see here model category annotate these all things are shown also here under the previous link go to custom you see all of the model annotation everything this one is only for the link file okay Now we copied already the grid lines and we copied the uh, levels. Dimension we will see it here. 